New tonight, it's been half a century since humans first stepped foot on the moon. Now some LSU students are taking big steps in developing materials for construction in space. NBC Local 33's Jacqueline Kissick joins us live here on Earth in the studio. Jacqueline, you spoke to people preparing for the big launch. What did they say? Well, yes, Renee, I am here on Earth. Now, it may sound like an unexpected partnership, NASA and LSU, granting the university with hundreds of thousands of dollars to gather evidence to find out what life would be like on the moon or Mars. All step for man. For more than 50 years, those words echo across time and space. So NASA is planning to, to basically send astronauts back to the moon. LSU professor Dr. Ali Kazmimian is making sure he and his team are involved every step of the way. This time we plan to stay for a longer time to be able to do more research and learn more about life on the moon. In two years, NASA plans to launch Artemis 3, searching for potential resources and life on the moon and Mars. And for that, again, we need infrastructure, and to build infrastructure, they are looking into robotic construction. Kazmi Mion says robotic construction, like 3D printing, is the future. Needed to build habitats, launching pads, and radiation shields. Yeah. Student Olerial Giwa says the team has been working with materials like sulfur and regolith to develop 3D printed waterless concrete. Try to, you know, delve deeper to see how um, these materials kind of behave um, in terms of um, structural properties and also um, other mechanical properties. Alongside Giwa is Castro Benijamadi, who mainly focuses on monitoring the 3D concrete. He says it's a priority to make and test the resources here on Earth rather than sending the products back and forth to the moon. For a small elements that we are printing right now, it takes between 15 to 30 minutes at most. Testing these 3D printed specimens will be taken to NASA Marshall Space Flight Center in Alabama to undertake extreme thermal conditions. For these two tires, the angle is very different, but still about taking that one step into the future. My goal is, yeah, I want to go to the air, to, to the moon or Mars, and I don't want to leave. I guess I'll, I'll stay on it um, to, you know, develop the technology, I guess, and then maybe in the future, we'll We'll see. Now the professor is working on developing materials for the launch while also focusing on his time here on Earth. He wants to tackle disaster relief and the global housing shortage with 3D printing. Now reporting here in studio, I'm Jacqueline Kissick, NBC Local 33 News. All right, Jacqueline, we hope you stay on Earth. Thank you for that report.